What I want my future to be. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, on deck we got Craig Sutton, but right now we got Teddy B. Alright. I gotta get serious with you guys. As a black man, I'm getting harassed by the KKK on a daily basis. I'm freaking serious. They wake me up in the middle of the night, take my money. Hell, I'm even getting cock blocked by the KKK. <laughs> my sons, Kingston, Kaiser, and Coda, <laughs> they're keeping this black man down. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you guys think I was talking about the other KKK? No! That's for a different meeting, guys. Come on. So, everyone who knows me knows Teddy B's a sad guy. SAD, stay at home dad. As a stay at home dad, I have to cook for my kids like every day. And they always want something different. They're so picky. It's like they, won't, they think I'm like some five star Michelin chef. I can't handle that shit. They need to be like pets. You know, a big bag of pet chow, meaty flavor. You know? <laughs> they should do that shit for kids. Chicken nuggets, peanut butter, chocolate <laughs> chips. Yo! I could just see it now. Kitties and bitch, y'all, yes! Put a little, like, you put a little water in there, mix gravy in the bowl, then you eat it right off the table. Coming to a store near you. Yeah. <laughs> and um, my wife, dude, she gets so offended when like her like chi childless friends be like, uh, yeah, you know what, girl? I like totally know what you mean. My little Pomeranian Fifi, she's like my little girl. <laughs> but not me, because like having kids is like having pets. <laughs> they like bite, they pee all over the place, and they always want to be fed country treats. <laughs> I tried to explain this to their veterinarian when I was getting them their shots and their declaw. <laughs> and last week, we got banned from the dog park. <laughs> Carol was like, my kids would have fun at a playground? <laughs> and you know, what's up with all these judgmental people giving you bad looks when I'm out walking my kids with a leash? It's like, <laughs> it's not like they're sitting in their yards. Like, all the time. <laughs> you want to know what's the worst? Yeah. What? Getting in trouble at school. No. Uh. Not my kids. Me. <laughs> I'm always getting in trouble at school. Like, but I have to pick them up from school. It's like, they, they're so strict. But it's not my fault, because they're so strict, y'all. Like, they want you to be there on time. They want you to get your ID, bring your ID. And they want you to always, like, pick up the right kid. You mess up once, they don't let you forget it. There I am. I see him. It's go time. Come on, boy, let's go. Uh, excuse me, sir. Um, wh what are you doing? Uh, I'm here to pick up my son. Um, do you have some ID? <sighs> uh, no, I, I don't. I forgot it. Um, well, we can't let you take him. But it's my son. I'm. You called me. I forgot him. You, what? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, sir. We can't let you take him. <laughs> Yahtzee! Shoo! Don't tease me with a good time. That's one less mouth to feed. I got another kid in the car. Can I leave him with you, too? No? Shit. Now we're both on the principal shit list. Having three kids is scary, y'all because like I'm outnumbered. So I gotta make sure I'm staying on their, um, I gotta make sure I'm staying on their good side. But you know, sometimes I don't, I'm human. And when that happens, I lay there in bed at night and I think to myself, are these motherfuckers gonna kill me like the Menendez brothers killed their parents? <laughs> then I'm like, nah, cause if they did, they ain't getting that Dogecoin money. <laughs> but real talk, real talk though, you know, I'm all here bashing my kids, but you know, honestly, there is some good things about being a dad. You get that golden excuse. It gets you out of anything. Sorry guys, I can't. My kids need me.
gets me out of having to go to my friend's baby shower. <laughs> Jury duty. And I have this really awesome joke, but um, shit, I gotta go, guys. My kids need me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!